Welcome everyone. My name is Frank and I'm glad you're here. In this video, we will be looking at digital note taking using LiveScribe smart pens. A LiveScribe smart pen will allow us to write on paper but generate digital notes at the same time. And if you watch this video to the end, you'll see the benefits of using a smart pen like a LiveScribe pen. You'll see how you can use different types of note paper when using the pen. And as a special bonus, I'll show you a very interesting feature called a pen cast, which is very handy for meetings or lectures or conversations where you want to take notes and you want to be able to share those notes with others. I'll start with describing how using a smart pen and paper compares to other digital note taking options and then demonstrate the LiveScribe pen in action. The experience of writing on paper is very familiar to most people. The many devices we have, such as an iPad with Apple pencils or the Microsoft Surface with its stylus, have tried for a very long time to replicate the feeling of writing on paper. And things have definitely evolved since the days of Palm Pilots, Apple Newtons and the Pocket PC devices that we all used to have. For some of my younger viewers, you may need to check that out on Wikipedia to know what I'm even talking about. However, despite these improvements, there are still challenges. The first challenge is friction. In order to take a note on an electronic device, that device has to be turned on, you have to have sufficient battery power, and you have to have the application open. The second challenge, form factor. An iPad or a Surface will always be the same size as the day you bought it unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong. And while the size may be good for one application, it may not be good for another. As an example, I have a 12 inch iPad because I like reading academic journals and papers full size on it. It makes carrying the iPad in my pocket very difficult unless I wear clown pants, which I'm not gonna do. A third challenge, when I write a note on my device, I can't leave that note. I can't stick that note onto a wall I can't leave that note on a fridge. And there are certainly some benefits, many benefits, but stick around and watch to the end of this video because I'll show you when and how adding a live scribe to some other or some other smart pen into your environment may be a solution worth exploring. LiveScribe has been my pen of choice for many years and they've evolved the product over the years in terms of pen size, but the functionality remains pretty much the same because writing with a pen on paper is pretty much the same. It's unchanging. Uh, the, and the solution is simple. You have a pen and you have special paper that you're going to write on. Just as you would normally write in a notebook or in a journal or in a little flip book or even on post-it notes. Your text is captured by the pen. So if you leave the paper behind, such as a sticky note that you put onto a wall when planning renovations or painting, you still have a copy. You then easily transfer the contents from the pen to an app on your iOS or Android device, where you can further manipulate it or share it. You can even have it automatically transfer to a note-taking app, such as OneNote or Evernote. Let's take a look at the pen in action. So LiveScribe has had several generations of pen. So this is my original pen and then they upgraded it a little bit just from a color standpoint. And then they've come out with sort of a smaller form factor pen that's a little bit more stylish. I actually like the little bit of the heavier pen. I find it fits in my hand quite nice. So I'm quite used to this pen and it's the one I use quite a bit. Now paper is paper. So if I open up this notebook, you can't see it, but there's a lot of little dots on here. It's very, very, very indistinct. But if I go in and I start taking notes, I can say, uh, you know, my ideas. And then what I can do is start putting my ideas here. I have one idea, I have two ideas. So lots of different ideas. If you have ideas for videos, pop them down in the comments below and I'll put them into my notebook. I can draw diagrams here, so I can draw various different diagrams on here. If I want to do anything, I can draw a stick figure, right? So whatever I may wish to draw, you know, put everything from text to drawing. It's, it's paper. It's paper and a pen, so I can do whatever I want to do with it. Now, the nice thing, of course, with the live scribe is that I not only have the paper and the pen, in this form, but I also have my little flip book. So I can go in here and the nice thing here is I could say, you know, something like, please get some uh, soap. 
I don't know, something like that. So I could say, please get some soap. And I can take this note and I could give that to someone that could then go and get that item for me. I can go in and I could use a little sticky note. This is really handy if I'm doing something like renovations or if I want to get you to like this video, you could like this video. Or if I'm doing some sort of painting, I could say, make this yellow, although the sticky note or the like button is blue. And then I could take this and I could actually post this somewhere where somebody could read it. Or I could post this on a wall if I'm doing some painting. So that's really handy because I can take those pieces of paper and I can give them away very easily, physically. I can tape them to something. And of course, I even have a journal that I can keep journal notes in. So you see, I have lots of different styles of paper and I have simple pen and paper, very easy. But it gets more interesting once I start bringing that back into my office. So if I come back to my office, I have my iPad here. So I'll turn my pen off. If I'm out on, out on the go, I can just carry this with me and I can capture information. But I come back to my office and I'm ready to do some studying. What I'll do is on the iPad or an iPhone, you can download an application <clears throat> which will allow you to go in and you'll see that I've connected this here pen to this iPad. So it's connected to this application. And now what's going to happen, you see I have my blue book and this is my blue book here. So if I turn my pen on, it'll automatically connect with Bluetooth and everything that I put here will show up over here in a digital form. So now it's going to go through and you'll see that it's copied the information. It copies all of the pieces of paper that I had. It copies them in. So if I was to go in and look at my little blue notebook here, you'll notice that it takes a few moments. It's still synchronizing. There it is. So there is, oh, that's some notes I took before. So let me go back. I can go in here to the pen and there it is. Here are the notes that I just took. So now I have the notes on physical paper and I have the notes in digital form. And in digital form, I can go in and I can mail this to someone. I could print it. I can send it. I can even automatically send it to Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, or OneNote. Very, very handy. Now, the other neat thing is, what about those pieces of paper that I gave away? What about the note where I asked somebody to go pick up some soap and where I asked you to like the video? Here they are. So there's the sticky note. So if I find it, I don't even know where I put, there it is. So there's the sticky note, but this could be somewhere else. This could be on a wall somewhere, but I've got a copy of it here. So that's very handy. So I've also got this note here for my flip book. And if I left that note with someone, I can now have, please get some soap. Very useful and very handy. Let's have a look at another neat feature called a pen cast. So if I go back to my book and I'll use this paper here, if I go back into the notebook and you can see I've got this, oh, go scroll to the page that I'm looking for. Here it is. So this is the page that I'm working on. This is the page. And you'll also notice that the pages are numbered, but you won't be able to see that in the video. But if I go here, let's say I'm going to work on some sort of project. Notice as I'm using the pen, everything I'm writing is going to the digital form. Now, this really isn't sort of how I would use the pen, because if I had my iPad with me, I might just use my note-taking app within the iPad. And if I had my paper with me, I might not have my iPad with me. So normally I'm writing on here and then transferring later. But what if I'm in a meeting? And what if I want to give this piece of paper to somebody once we're done the meeting, but I want to retain a copy of it? I can do that. We've seen that before. But here's a very neat feature. By hitting record, I've now started something called a pen cast. And as I write, so I wrote the word pen cast, pen cast shows up on here. And I could say, I want to make three different tasks that we need to do. We need to make sure that we have coffee and tea set up. And Bob, I would like you to do that. And if you could get that from uh, Joe's coffee shop, that would be great. And then uh, Richard, I would like you to take a look at the decorations. So if you could make sure if you could take the care of the decorations for the party and we'll, we'll give that to Richard. He'll go ahead and do that. And then um, Jan, if you could book the speaker and I don't really care what speaker you get as long as they're very motivational and as long as they're on topic. So now I've gone through, I've had a conversation, I've taken some short notes, but you'll notice that as I was taking these notes, I was adding more information. 
So for example, you know, I added information when I was taking the notes. And adding information could mean that I just take maybe one word or a short phrase, but I might talk about that phrase a lot. Adding information is an important thing to do. Then I can stop this pen cast. And this can also run on your phone, so it can be very portable as well. Now that that pen cast is finalized, I'm going to go in to the digital version. Now, my paper version, I could give that to the planner of the meeting. So that's gone, I no longer have it. And I've got a, a, an electronic copy of it. But more than the electronic copy, look what I have. If I go to the pen cast here and take a look at this page here, I can press any portion of the green text and it'll replay what I was speaking at the time I wrote that note. So with decorations, let's see what I said. That would be great. And then uh, Richard, I would like you to take a look at the decorations. So if you could make sure. So you can see that I did that. And I say, well, what did I say about Jan? What did I? And then um, Jan, if you could book the. Oh, well, wait a minute. What about the coffee and tea? I could say, I want to make three different tasks that we need to do. We need to make sure that we have coffee. And then with the added, added information. information. This allows me to not only have the written notes, but also to have an audio dialogue of everything I was talking about while those notes were taken. So imagine that I'm either at a meeting where I want to you know, keep a copy, or let's say I'm at a lecture and I'm taking lecture notes and recording the audio of the person conducting the lecture. Now when I read my notes, I can actually go to my digital copy and say, oh, you know, you said something about coffee. What did you say? To make sure that we have coffee. Oh, will that be on the test? So you can see here that I've got multiple ways of working with the LiveScribe Smart Pen that are really beneficial, allow me to have portability. Pretty cool. In the end, I personally use a hybrid approach. I always carry my flip book and my pen with me. And that becomes one of my portable fast capture tools. Of course, sometimes I'll still use my phone, especially if I want to take a photo or generate a task. But I will use this to take quick little notes. Then I'll transfer to my iPad. I use my iPad a lot of times as a side-by-side -side tool. So when I'm taking study notes, if I'm reading a book or if I'm working on the internet, I'll have my iPad and take my study notes there. And finally, I use my Surface with some special mind mapping tools that I use and some software that's specific to the Surface or to Windows. So let me know in the comments if you want to see any of that in action. But this a hybrid approach provides a broad way to capture input that I can then further review and follow up as part of a productivity ecosystem. And in my case, using a pen with paper, very simple, great way to do it. The sticky notes are super good because I can leave notes behind. Um, and it really makes a powerful hybrid approach to that input of digital information with a lot less friction than having to turn on a device or having to use some sort of special application. I can use pen and paper. Very simple. Here are some other videos on the channel on how we can use technology to learn and teach better. Thank you for watching.